Hi again everybody, Boyd here with you and welcome back. This is part 6 of our AMT Klingon Katinga Cruiser build. And I'm really happy and really excited to show you what I got done on this thing today guys. I got home from work and started tinkering with it a little bit and I went nuts and got a lot done on it. It's almost completely finished now. In fact, for all intents and purposes it is finished. Maybe besides a couple of tiny little light leaks on it here and there, but it really turned out good. You can see here that we've got the uh, uh, forward bridge mounted on this now and there you can see Elliot Brown's really beautiful photo etch uh, parts on the upper row of windows there and thanks so much again Elliot for sending those I can't say how much I appreciate it and a lot of people have been asking me about where I got these and uh, you're gonna be a busy guy I know these are your prototypes but uh, when you start producing these these are great and they make an ordinary model just look fantastic and uh, sweet job on those again Elliot great work appreciate it and you can see here at the top of the bridge, we've uh, got that JT graphics part, and that is fantastic as well, guys. It's so much nicer than the original kit part. It's extremely accurate, really close to what that we saw in the movie. Here you can see we worked in the little red windows. Uh, I basically um, masked those off with tiny little pieces of paint and sprayed the whole thing. And then I've got a red SMD up underneath of that that's lighting those. And uh, you can see we've got the back one lit as well. You couldn't see that one very well on the movie, but it was there. Then here's our officer's lounge window there at the very bottom, and that's another one of Elliot's nice photo etch parts. Now what I did is I drilled those out and filled them with crystal clear so they would be much more defined and much more uh, realistic looking uh, than just slapping it on top, and it really came out good. You can see we've got our little lights there on the back by the bulb exactly where they're supposed to be and all of our window lighting. Uh, here you can see the nice uh, <clears throat> flower detail around the uh, photon launcher. That's a bright yellow decal from the kit guys and that's uh, dulled down uh, quite a bit with a couple uh, shots of uh, gray and dark green and a few other colors that I mixed in just to kind of weather it and make it look old. And then back here you can see we've got our disruptors mounted with a nice photo etch uh, brass rods attached and uh, our little flashing beacon on the bottom of course. And you can see on the Klingon insignia, that circle that it sits on is supposed to be painted gold, kind of a burnished gold color. So I did that and laid the uh, insignia down over top of it. And then I kind of weathered over everything. I masked off all these uh, feathers down here and painted and shaded those just like I did on the top. And they came out really nice. Here you can see the pattern on the top. And uh, again, this is all very subtle, guys. Uh, this model is not... Uh, metallic at all. Uh, I did use a tiny little bit of gold metallic on it here and there on some edges and things just to give it a little bit of a sheen but uh, if you look at the pictures of this studio model from the motion picture it was all done in pastels and dark grays and greens and a little bit of black here and there some red oxide but uh, it's definitely not metallic and um, so we stayed very subtle on that and just gave it some old dirty look uh, kind of is the best way to describe it and what I did to get that is I masked off all those individual feathers and painted them with a darker shade of green and then I came back and dusted over it with different colors to kind of blend it all together and give it that worn look and uh, it just looks really really cool I'm really pleased with it now on the back side here you can see we've got our nice uh, brass photo etch grills in place now over the engine exhaust and there's our shuttle bay with the insignia in the middle and I used Elliot's nice uh, stencils there to paint on these um, uh, Klingon markings on the sides of the manifold exactly like they were on the movie and that turned out beautiful I'll get you a shot of the other one here and uh, that really adds some nice detail nice of you to do that Elliot and uh, Elliot's the hero of the day <laughs> so anyway guys this is really really cool and I'm really happy with it all of our lighting came out beautiful it's all in the exact right places it's supposed to be. You can see on the bottom here, uh, we've got our light coming out from the forward disruptors underneath of the wings. Uh, those are kind of like floodlights that uh, shine on the uh, bottom side of the hull. I'll turn the lights down here in a minute. You guys can see that a little clearer. But there's our nice wing uh, vents that we worked in on the last video. Those came out great. And we've got all the gaps and all the light leaks fixed on this. There might be a couple real tiny ones here and there mostly on the bridge up here where uh, this clear part where a little bit of uh, lights bleeding through the paint and I'll touch that up but all very minor all the big stuff is done on this guys so let me wander over here and we'll shut the uh, 
main lights off and we'll get a shot of the model in some low light for you. And uh, you can see everything in a little bit more detail. Here you can look at the uh, detail on the top again. Might show up a little bit better as far as the shading and everything. Really happy with that, guys. You can see all our on the cell lighting is exactly where it's supposed to be. Now, I don't use any fiber optics on that. I only use fiber optics here on the very end on the tail lights. And uh, they're not making any bends and they're not attached. It's just mushroomed and then I just uh, maybe a segment about um, that long or so. And I just pushed it in there and it's picking up the ambient lighting from the inside. So we don't have to worry about anything coming apart or failing on that. Like I said earlier, I'm kind of shy about uh, fiber optics making bends or hooking them up to something that might come apart later and fail. So this lighting will last a long time. It's all been done with crystal clear. And uh, just uh, ambient lighting is lighting all that. And it's a lot easier way to do it. Uh, you guys might want to check that out when you build yours. And here you can see we've got our little red flasher on the top there. All right, let me kick this... Uh, overhead light off so you can see there's our nice impulse grill intake glowing nice and red it's it's shining bright kind of in the camera here guys but it's very subtle and I think it's nice and in scale in the movie it didn't look very bright here you can see we've got the forward bulb and the window lighting coming through beautifully our bridge lights there uh, the red windows you can just see the little Klingon guys sitting there right now Scared to death of that V'ger cloud. Actually, Klingons don't get scared. I think they thought they could beat it, but they were in for a big surprise. But anyway, everything looks really good here. Let's take a look at those floodlights on the bottom, guys. And here's our flickering engines. That's really nice. And there you can see the floodlight effect you get from those uh, forward uh, lights underneath of the uh, disruptors there. That's really nice looking. All right, let's fire off a torpedo here, guys. And we'll go around to the front and check that out. Oh, actually getting the rear one first. Let me cycle it once more. All right, here we go. Just like in the motion picture from the other side, though. Okay, we'll go and check out the rear one once more. <laughs> I can't get enough of this, guys. This thing was worth every red cent. I just love it. Really puts it over the top. There we go. Totally awesome. There you can see some more of our lighting going on. You can see we got all those light leaks fixed on the bottom of the shuttle bay and everything. Like I said, all the major light leaks are gone. Um, I'm not seeing any anywhere, really. <clears throat> so it came out pretty good. Let's turn the light back on here. I'm going to keep doing its thing on the photon. Give you a little bit of shot here of the uh, shuttle bay detail again. And I'm just really happy with this whole thing, guys. It came out great. And uh, we'll stay here for just a second and catch that rear tube firing once more. Okay, I'll go ahead and kill the power now. Um, so everything's great, guys. Now, this isn't <clears throat> quite the finale on this one yet. Uh, like I mentioned, my friend Dave and Jerry are building me a really nice uh, stand for this, a display base, which will be basically 8x12 with a backlit picture of the V'ger cloud uh, firing that little uh, weapon, that uh, energy burst out of there. And we're going to do some neat things to make that kind of animated. And then uh, the MP3 player built in will give us the sound and everything, and uh, we'll have our switches and everything mounted on that. So it's going to come together really nice. Probably be a couple more weeks before I get that, but uh, that'll be the finale of this. In the meantime, we're going to come back with Byron's uh, build, uh, the second Katinga here. Now, we're not going with all the JT graphics stuff or uh, the photon launcher or anything. We're just going to do a nice paint job on it and do some basic lighting on it for him. And uh, we'll finish up with that. And then uh, I've got another uh, TOS 350 Enterprise to build for a client, Robert. We'll be getting started on that uh, uh, the 1st of July. And then we'll... Uh, get on with that. I probably won't be doing a regular series on that. We just finished up doing one of those, so I'll give uh, a few updates on it here and there so Robert can see the progress. But uh, we're going to be starting another build series here, and it'll be the uh, Vorcha class Klingon Cruiser that you see there. I've never built one of these before. I'm really excited about it. It's made to be lit. You can see it comes with all the nice red inserts. We'll do some nice weathering and painting on that, and uh, we might do some special effects. We'll see what's out there. 
Might even use another one of these photon launchers on that. So um, this is going to be really cool. And again, I've never built one of these, and that'll be our next build-up series. So hope you guys will check that out. I'm looking forward to it. So all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the build-up of the Katinga here. I've had a blast with it myself. It's a great model. All the aftermarket parts, again, the Starling uh, Technologies Photon Launcher Kit, the JT Graphics uh, resin parts, Elliot Brown's beautiful photo etch parts. You see, you can see when you bring it all together, it makes for a gorgeous, gorgeous model, guys. So, all right, everybody, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, we'll catch up with you in a couple days for more of the second Katinga. Until then, take care out there, build those model guys, have fun with the hobby, and we'll see you later. Happy modeling, everyone.